So we're playing the giant, but every single round something's gonna change. Starting off with when a player gets a headshot, a random zombie triggers an AAT. Okay, so you're telling me if I get a headshot. Oh my god, dude, round one turned. No, but that's actually not good. I want the, the melee points. No! That's the one time where it's actually not good on round one. When a player reloads, a random player drops a grenade. Oh, brilliant. So, like, when it's the random player ones, obviously, if you're in solo, it's just going to be on you. Like, oh, there's a grenade. Just got to fucking avoid that shit. It's moderately terrifying, but it's also, you know, it's fine as long as you don't reload too much. Speaking of which, I've got to reload now. Oh, fuck. Don't blow me up. Ah. But any of you curious, the camo I'm using for this gun is the Cherry Fizz camo. I also get asked on these cause and effect videos and any that I use the uh, the boy client. Basically, that's how I'm leveling up while playing. I know the boy client got taken down and everything, but it's still technically safe if you still have it and you're just playing on solo, which is why I still use it because just for stability reasons, like it's so much better. The amount of frame drops on standard BO3 is a bit, a bit ridiculous, you know, considering how good my setup is right now. When a player swaps weapons, Give a random gobble gun. Well, I don't have the RK5, so we actually have to buy something. Oh, we have the box in there. I mean, oh, we literally need 10 points. Are you serious? Come on, dude, rebuild this barrier. I guess I could have laid down by the perk as well. I didn't think about that. What are you going to give me? Wonderwall first try? No, the Argus. Okay. But we got Flavor Hexed. Transforms into a random mega gobble gun. Uh, we got Temporal Gift. Okay. Let's see if we can get something a little bit better. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got Arsenal Accelerator and I got Disorderly Combat. Don't know about that one. Wait, I can't get rid of it. Oh, <laughs> it's just gonna keep keep on giving me different things. Oh my god. Totally didn't almost go down then. Oh, and there we go. We swapped weapons, so we actually got rid of it. See if we can get that snipe from long range. Let's go. I mean, we could do some more swapping. Who's keeping score? Well, it's actually big. I'll spawn both of them in. Then we'll swap weapon. What are we gonna get? Unquenchable. Um, eh, you know, it'd be better if we get that later. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's kind of hilarious. We have three double points. What the fuck, dude? When a player reloads, orientation slightly changed. Okay, nothing crazy there. This one's gonna run out. <laughs> well, this is gonna be the world's longest double points in existence. And then we just keep this gobble gum, flavor hexed, which I think... Oh no, it's idolized, not flavor hexed. Isn't that literally just like in plain sight, but it lasts slightly longer, I think? Unless I'm completely crazy. I'll see you in the distance. Slightly out of range. Some zombos. What's this? An insta kill. Don't mind if I do. It's nice doing cause and effect on the giant. Just, you know, it's a very small map. We can really cycle through the uh, the changes very often. This mod is just amazing. Like, seriously, I, I can't thank the uh, the creator enough. Oh, look, another double points. Just not like we, we already had 50 billion of them. I'll save it for the next round. When a power up spawns, a random zombie triggers an AAT. Okay. AAT basically means like turned blast furnace, you know, double packet punch pretty much. All right, pick this up. I suppose we can go and spin the box one more time, see what we get. We got the BRM. Okay, I mean, not terrible. Has a lot of ammo, of course. Pew, 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 pew. Leveling up the PRM, of course. I guess we're going to work on getting uh, power turned on in a second. Where have we got here? Mule kick is in this corner. I kind of like how random the perks are. Just like the fact that every single game you get something completely different. Like, look, quick revives all the way up there. We've got speed cola right here, and then double tap was inside here. So jug is going to be in the death alley. I'm going to do a weird thing. I'm going to actually buy double tap first. Just because, in my opinion, it's the most impactful perk in the game. I mean, obviously, like, taking less hits, in theory, is very, very good, right? But it doesn't increase your actual damage output. Double tap straight up just doubles the amount of bullets you fire and the damage you do. So it, there's nothing better. And the chances of you going down on like round five are very slim anyway. And it's 500 points cheaper than Jug. So I don't know. Personally, I think it's a pretty good strat for early game. But of course, versus zombies, you know, it's very flexible. You can kind of just do whatever you feel like. Where the heck is this last zombie? Is it you? Yep, it is. When a player slides, a random perk is gained. Are you serious? Oh, so much for buying the perks then. <laughs> This is so ridiculously broken, dude. What the fuck? Oh, just slide. Just get, Okay, there we go. And that's all of them, I think. Yeah, we can't get more than six perks on the giant. Unless you have, uh, what is it? No, I think even with the random perk thing, you don't even get stamina up or dead shot, depending which one you get on the map. Which is quite interesting, to be honest. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, we're a little bit set up now. But hopefully we can get some interesting, unique, uh, good god, my aim, cause and effect thingies. I'm going to try and make this as difficult as possible, you know. I'm going to try and 
Because obviously this is a very easy challenge. Saying that, I'd get a death machine immediately. But I am going to try and not pack a punch this entire game. Just see how we do, you know? So there's not really any point in me turning on the teleporters, but like, I'm going to do it out of habit anyway. All right, teleporter number one. Easy peasy done. Teleporter number two. Done. Teleporter number three. And done. Easy. Wait and see what random drop we get. And we got a death machine. Of course we did. One zombie left two. Bye bye. When a player gets a headshot, five zombies spawn. Ooh, interesting. That's a little bit of a unique one. We can actually get this round going on for a while. Oh, never mind. We're going to get dogs, aren't we? I fucking knew it, dude. <laughs> Just when I wanted to get a really cool one. I mean, we can see because you can get headshots on dogs. Like, that was a headshot. Does that mean it's going to spawn zombies? Or does it not? Let's see, shall we? Does it increase the amount of dogs that spawn, perhaps? Because that could be interesting. Doesn't look like it's so far... Oh, I mean, actually, I think it is working, you know? No, unironically, because the, normally you get six dogs per round on the first dog round, and they are just continuously spawning. So if we just don't get headshots... Oh, God. This is actually going to be difficult, because we have to, like... Oh, see? I just headshot one, and that means five more are going to fucking spawn. And again! Oh, my God. All right, how about, how about now? No? Oh, fuck. I'm actually going to have to use the fucking trap, dude. All right, here we go. See, that's still spawning in. This is insane. Come on, doggos. It's feel like stare at you while you're trying to shoot them, so it's really difficult to try and- Oh my god. I'd get the Bowie knife, but I don't exactly have the, uh, the points. Can I at least knife them? <laughs> Fucking never-ending dog round. I'm at 145 kills now, bro. And I'm not even getting headshots, I'm getting melees now, so it's no excuse for them to still be spawning, but I guess I just- Did I headshot that many that it's like 500? Oh my god, it finally ended to 160 kills. That was the longest round I've had in, like, ages. That felt like a round fucking 40, dude. When a player loses 300 plus points, give a random gobblegum. Okay, dude. Jesus Christ. I can actually play the game now? Question mark? Well, we have Mule Kick. I'm gonna go spin the bloody box. And we got Respin Cycle. Oh, that's actually quite good for what we do. Never mind. I don't want to use it. Oh, but this is going to be our mule kick weapon. Ah, whatever. Go for another spin. Oh, raindrops. See, I wonder if this is going to... Oh, hello, 48 dredge. I wonder if this is going to give us the good old perk drop. No, see, it doesn't count. Interesting. Still, though, nice that we can spawn this in. Basically, just end the round real quick. Are you the literal last zombie? Did those two nukes leave one? They did. And you give me another one. When a player reloads, take one damage. Okay, no biggie. Jesus, man. Well, we got the waff. <laughs> Forgot how bloody easy this map was. I guess we'll go for another spin. I mean, why not? What, are we going to get a ray gun? <laughs> no, man, like, I swear to Christ that happened in one of my previous videos as well. It's fine, dude. You know, you just say it and it spawns in, I guess. The absolute god tier RNG. Oh, waff time. Zap, 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 zap. Honestly, I think I prefer the Wonder Waff to the Thunder Gun. I know the Thunder Gun is 100% a better Wonder Weapon, but... Aesthetically, I just love the look of the WAF. Just like the design and the sound effects are pretty cool. The animations are, of course, for zombies. And then you have the fucking ray gun, which, you know, it's a cool gun and all, but it's just like nothing. Dude, I feel so broken. Like, some of these videos, we just end up getting all the perks and everything before round, like, 10. <laughs> and then we're just set up for life. Like, I worry that it's going to make the videos boring, but at the same time, like, you guys love cause and effect, and I absolutely love making them, so. When a player loses a thousand plus points, wall bar are randomized. Well, if we teleport but don't actually teleport, that means in theory this should no longer be the KN44. This is going to be the KN44. Okay, scratch that real quick. Well, this is the KRM. What did this become? The HVK? Okay, no, it did work. And the VMP over here turned into the M8A7. Okay, just to prove it as well, I'll go ahead and buy it. Boom, look, M8A7 on the wall. Good God, that reloads fast with fast mags and speed cola. Holy shit. Almost instantaneous. Oh my God. What is with this orange? Jesus, that's blinding. Yeah, I'm curious, what do you guys think about The Giant? Is it one of your favorite maps of all time? Do you think it's kind of boring and overrated? Seems like people have like a 50-50 split on The Giant. I think it's a great map, but, you know, compared to everything else on BO3, it does fall behind a bit, but like, it served its purpose perfectly, which basically the purpose was to bridge the gap between the old and the new generation of Zombies players at the time. Because, of course, Black Ops 3 was starting to go like, you know, Marg was tentacle shit, multi-dimensions and stuff. 
They needed some way to appeal to both types of players. The Easter egg hunters and just the people who want to load into a map and just kill zombies, you know? And that's the problem, because I feel like the recent Call of Duty games have just been focusing too much on the the bland side of things, which is, you know, if you just spawn in and get kills. Which, you know, it's fun for a while, but then you realize that there's just nothing unique about each game. And it gets pretty boring. So, wow, this fucking accuracy is insane right now. Literally zero recoil. But yeah, I'm just hoping... I mean, I know MW3 Zombies isn't going to do it, but maybe it'll have a round-based mode. We'll see. I don't care about the mode. I just care about it being fun and replayable. Because if I don't, I don't want to have a mode where I just want to play it once and then never play it again. That's like the epitome of bad game design, in my opinion. Unless it is like a one-and-done amazing campaign, which it's not. It's meant to be an online experience. When a player takes damage, a random zombie teleports near a player. Well, we've got dogs anyway, so it doesn't look like they're going to be going anywhere near me. Although I am curious, so if I let them slap me... Yeah, they, they both they both hit me. It doesn't look like they seem to teleport at all. Like, if you hit me... No, neither of them moved. <laughs> they may take seven time. Oh, look, see? See how fucking fast that round was compared to whatever the hell round seven was? When a player loses 300 plus points, ability to slide will toggle. Okay. So if I buy this trap, I can still slide. Okay. See, some of them are a bit weird because they don't actually work immediately. Like, I lost over a like 300 points. I lost the fucking 1,000, so very strange indeed. I have a pretty cool video idea that I'm excited to share with you guys. I'll probably be uploading it, mm, we'll see, within the next week, maybe. It's going to be another one of those longer videos, but I think considering what everyone likes on this channel and what I'm playing right now is the little hint, I think that everyone's going to enjoy it. Also, the no pack a punch challenge, you know, is great right now. Until we get to the point where we're going to get like, oh, when you kill one zombie, give a pack a punch gun. I just can't wait for that one, bro. The player swaps weapons at speed is randomized. Okay. I'm a little bit faster now. Not bad. Let's see if we can get like super duper fast. Oh yes. Like look at this shit, dude. Oh my god. It's like we have stamina, but we don't. Oh Jesus. This one's even faster. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Good luck trying to chase me down, zombies. Yeah. Ones like this are just fun. They just change something very basic about the game. I really wish that cause and effect was on other games, like on Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, on Plutonium, for example. It would just be so much fun. Oh god, I'm going so fast that I'm like struggling to keep up with my own train. I can feel fucking nauseous, dude, with how fast I'm going. Jesus Christ. Let's try swapping weapons. Am I going to just turn to a snail? Nope, still pretty fast. Oh, now I'm a bit slower. Not like it matters. The round's about to end anyway. What's up, Zombo? And goodbye. When a zombie spawns, gain 100 points. Okay, so we're probably just going to get like another... Well, if it's round 15, I want to say there's going to be about 40 zombies. Yeah, just look at the points just slowly going up. I don't think I've done a cause and effect on the giant, have I? Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I actually have. Let's use a little bit of the ray gun. You know, it's not the best gun in the world. Which is crazy to think about, but just on Black Ops 3, like, everything else just seems to be better. Except for maybe the XM53, but even then, I personally really like the XM53. Like, it's a very underrated gun. It one-shots full hordes when packet punched until about round 35-ish when you have double tap, whereas the ray gun, like, sure you can spam it a bit faster, but it stops one-shotting at like round 20, bro, it's quite awful. And the crawlers just make things too annoying. Also, when you pack a bunch of the XM53 as well, you can, uh, what's it called, spam two shots at once, which is nice. Ooh, leveling up, let's go. When a player loses 300 plus points, a random perk is lost. Well, you know, normally I don't do this, but let's actually, like, let's challenge ourselves, dude. We'll buy the trap, which is going to get rid of another perk. There, there goes Jug. We'll buy this teleporter. There goes Double Tap. I just realized we lost Mule Kick. Did we lose? Oh, we lost our Ray Gun. <gasps> we lost the Ray Gun and not the uh, the Wonder Wolf. So it's not too bad then. So now we're down to only three perks. Interesting. Okay. Let's see if we can survive this. Trying to train in the, the spawn. Oh, God. I love when the Wonder Wolf will, like, stun all the zombies around you, but it won't actually kill all of them. Because it only kills a set, like, what is it, 12 zombies? So it can, like, bait you in. Because you see them all stunned, and you're like, oh, yeah, I can run next to it. And then it just starts running at you. Zap them all up. I know training in the spawn is one of the high round strats for this map. Oh, God. That was actually so close. Holy shit. Okay, that's the round. When a power-up spawns, ability to slide will toggle. Okay make this even more interesting, let's not buy perks until we actually get another cause and effect thing that can possibly give us the perk, because that would be, you know, unique. And this map's pretty easy without them, so... Saying that, almost coming down, Jesus. But yeah, this map is pretty easy with cause and effect. I mean, it's pretty easy in general, but if you get given one that just, oh yeah, you slide, you get all your perks, it's a 
bit of a uh, landslide victory. All right, there we go, max ammo. So we only have our Wonder Wolf and our MAA7 right now. I'll try and use the MAA7 this round so we're not breezing through it with the Wolf. When a player takes damage, orientation slightly changed, not too bad. It basically just means like it will make me look off to the side every time I get hit. It can be a bit annoying when you're trying to train up because of course, if you're training this way and all of a sudden you just turn back into the zombies, it's not really ideal. Also, yeah, lack of a uh, double tap is not great. Oh my god, yeah, Aglin is doing like no damage. Oh shit. This is actually quite sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, it's almost like it got difficult now we don't have Jug. Spray into all you. Some kind of a uh, drop a max ammo. Not really what I need, but I suppose it slightly helps, doesn't it? Oh, what we get here? <gasps> a carpenter, bro. I was expecting an insta kill and be like, oh yes, there we go. Oh fuck. That was close. But no. Oh, okay. There we go. Death machine. That's more like it. I guess we'll save the nuke for a second. Get through as much of the round as possible. And that should probably end it. Yup, there we go. When a zombie dies, a random zombie teleports near a player. Oh my god. Okay, if I don't go down this round, it's going to be a miracle. I'm not going to buy the trap. I want to try and do this like fully by myself kind of thing. Oh, hello, dog. Get you the fuck out so you don't mess up my train. All right, here we go. Zombies running at Mach 5 speed. Oh god, why was my mouse flicking? Okay, so when a zombie dies, they teleport in- Oh, I saw that. He like teleported on top of the fucking- Oh god, they teleport in front of you as well. That's actually not good at all. Oh fuck. That's kind of terrifying because, yep, like that, they could just try to cock block you, bro. So you see these zombies with three eyes. Those are so weird. I only noticed it on this map. And I think maybe the rise and rock, but it's just it's such a strange little feature. Oh god! Oh yes, one of them literally spawned in front of me. <laughs> well, I suppose I had that uh, coming for me eventually. We have an insta though. Maybe we can get through this round. Oh yeah, here we go with the teleporting bastards. Pew pew pew! Oh my god! I don't I don't even know where they're going. Oh, I'm out of ammo for that. Where is that zombie going? <laughs> did you see the way that one teleported? Oh, there we go. We did it. When a zombie dies to a grenade, active gun loses a bullet. Okay, so just don't use grenades, got it. Well, this might be the round, dude, but we have got the Wonder Waff. Our only glimmer of hope right now is in the Waff. Oh god, and I'm not paying attention when one singular zombie just slaps you twice out of nowhere. Zap you guys. Remember I used to train here for ages when I was trying to level up like guns and shit. Oh, also completely off topic, but I got a five terabyte hard drive, which, oh my god. I was going to get an SSD, but I thought I want more space and I went for like 95 quid or something. 95 pounds, you know, pretty like 110, 115 dollars. They're not bad at all. Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> but yeah, I basically just want to make sure I have every single Call of Duty Zombies game installed at one time so I can hop between them nice and easily. And also for uh, video file storage, I just... Wow, that was the fastest down I've ever had. But yeah, it's going to be good for like future video ideas. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in my next video.